Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. As I am discussing drowning, and this is the sixth lecture of this series. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the postmortem changes or postmortem appearances of the body. There are signs of asphyxia unless the death has been occurred from other causes, and the typical signs of drowning are only seen. in fresh body when it is recovered from the water immediately the examination should be after the recovery from the water because when the putrefaction starts these signs they get masked they will disappear and you will not be able to find those signs when the putrefaction sets in in the typical findings they are externally seen on the body and then there are certain internal autopsy findings the external signs are external appearances the wet appearance body when it is recently recovered from the water it will be wet the clothes will be wet and the skin will be wet cold clammy and pale due to the constriction of the blood vessels and further the eyes will be usually half open or closed and the conjunctivae conjunctivae will be congested because of the irritation of the uh, water and the pupils will be dilated face may or may not be cyanotic in appearance then regarding the uh, postmortem hypostasis this may be limited to the areas which are dependent because when the body is floating in water then the head chest and the neck they are the dependent parts and in those areas the postmortem appearance will be found but in the running water there will be no specific area where the postmortem staining will be developed because body is constantly rolling changing its position and the time doesn't permit to develop the postmortem staining and for the fixation so in running water the postmortem staining will not be seen in any dependent area then regarding the rigor mortis it sets in early because the body muscles have been ex- exhausted because there will be struggle to save Uh, the life and that will be causing the rigor mortis to develop early because the atps which are in the muscles that has been utilized during the struggle then two most important signs which are externally seen fine froth formation and the cadaveric spasms cadaveric spasms is the tightly clenched hands so why the fine froth formation because this is pathognomonic for the antemortem drowning when the fluid or the water it enters into the respiratory passages it will cause irritation and that will initiate secretion of the mucus and this mucus along with water and rigorous violent respiratory efforts starts producing fine froth and this froth may be white or it may be blood tinge leathery and it is abundant and it increases to just slight pressure on the chest it will reappear you wipe it off from the nose and mouth and put a slight pressure on the chest it will again come out and this fine froth mason uh, is due to the edematous condition of the lungs but it can appear in certain poisons but in poisonings like opium cocaine barbiturates organophosphorus it is seen but it is neither so copious nor so white nor so fine also no regarding the cadaveric spasms the person is in extreme emotional condition 
and to save his life he will grasp the weeds he will grasp the branches of the tree and they will be tightly clenched in the hands so the presence of sand the weeds the mud or the branch of tree in tightly clenched hand that will be seen that is cadaveric space the muscle at the time of death do not enter into primary flaccidity or primary relaxation because but they are rigid cadaveric spasm is there and they will not enter into primary relaxation and this is indicative of death that the person has been drowned and this is a sign of struggle this is how you can see the grass and the leaves which has been grasped in the hands then the cutis and serina are the goose skin the skin appears granular puckered with hair standing on and it it is usually not diagnostic it has not uh, a value but this only indicate that the person was in water and this is due to this spasm of the erector pylori muscle due to exposure to the cold this is how it appears and this sign is also produced by the rigor mortis of the erector pylori muscle similarly the retraction of the penis and the testes has got no value in the diagnosis of death due to trembling then the washerwomen women hand and feet they are sodden and the skin is wrinkled bleached and sodden sodden because of the prolonged remnants in the water and it is seen on the palmar aspect of the hand and the sole of the feet and this is due to the action of the water on thickened epidermis this is not a sure sign of drowning but it only tells that the body has been in water for a long time this is how the sodden skin appears so thank you very much this is all about the uh, extra